All right, so I use Arctic Silver 5 thermal compound. Be real careful because this is conductive. So you just want to place a little bead right in the center of your IC here. Try not to let any of the stragglings get onto the circuit board. All right, now we'll put it back together. So first we'll go with the, the fan, because that's probably the hardest. <laughs> well, and it's usually what I start with anyways. So I'm gonna flip it upside down just so I can kind of go straight in. All right. All right. So now that we're lined up, all right. So now that we're lined up, I'm gonna start with the spring screws, just so I keep it all nice and aligned. Same thing, I'm gonna put the pressure on evenly. So I'm gonna start in opposite corners. And then I'll start locking it down. There. And I'll just kinda go cross corner as I tighten it. Get them all hand tight, and then I'll just leave them just in case I have to pivot the other ones. I'll give it a little hair extra, but these spring screws are actually pretty good. Alright, now that I got the spring screws lined up, now I'll do the front screws. Tighten these down because these shouldn't have any effect on the back, and all the back still looks lined up pretty good. All right, now, all right, now don't forget this one, it has just a slightly different screw, it's a little bit shorter with a rounded top. Now we'll drop our back plate on. Alright, once it's lined up, you can just kind of start screwing your screws in. All this should line up pretty easy, but I'm just starting all these real quick. Alright, now just tighten them all down. I try and start from a corner just in case something isn't straight. And 
just walk the rest of it over. Make sure these are tight, which I think they are. I got them pretty tightened down. That's it. <laughs> 